Let's look at final exam question number seven, found on page 662 of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, fifth edition. We have a situation like this, a battery that provides 18 volts and drives 300 milliamperes of current through a fixed resistance. Voltage is generally symbolized as E when it's a variable, probably because it stands for electromotive force. R means resistance as a variable. That's pretty obvious. R stands for resistance. And I for current. I don't have a clue as to why they use I to represent current as a variable. Maybe because A meaning amperes is already used, it means amperes, and C uh, means either coulombs or the speed of light. So it, they're all taken. I, Z, maybe, I don't know, they picked it out of a hat. That's just a little mystery to me, but this is a very simple circuit. Ohm's law gives us the answer to this. Resistance equals voltage divided by current. That is, R equals E over I, provided that we express R in ohms, E in volts, and I in amperes. Well, in this particular case, we have 18 volts. 300 milliamperes is 0 0.300 amperes. That's 300 one thousandths of an amp or three tenths of an amp. 18 divided by 0.3, that's a little bit of a tricky thing to do in your head. You can do it uh, with a calculator easily enough, but there is another way to do this. A little trick that I learned uh, back in the days before calculators. If we multiply the denominator and the numerator both by 10, We get that, 180 divided by 3, that's pretty obviously equal to 60. When we multiply the top and the bottom both by 10, we're in effect just multiplying the whole thing by 10 over 10, which is 1, it gives us the same thing. 60 ohms is the, huh, is the resistance here, and that is choice E as in echo.